Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we discuss about the title Robust Cell Detection of Histopathological Brain Tumor Images Using Sparse Reconstruction and Adaptive Dictionary Selection Now we discuss the abstract for the process Computer Aided Diagnosis that is an CAD is a useful tool to help the doctors make better diagnosis in cancer diagnosis and treatment Accurate cell detection is often an essential requirement for subsequent cellular analysis. The major challenge of robust brain tumor or the nuclei is detection is the to handle the significant variations in cell appearance and to split the appearance to touching cells. In this paper, we present an automatic cell detection framework using sparse reconstruction and the adaptive dictionary learning. These are the two main contribution of our method that is already discussed as sparse representation based on the adaptive dictionary learning method used to handle the cell appearance variations. The automatic cell detection results are compared with the manual annotated ground truth and the other state of art cell detection algorithms. By comparing this method to the another existing methods, this method proposes a new innovative and then achievable results more than the precision of 98%. Now we discuss the flow diagram for the process. This is the overall flow diagram for the process. At first the input image is taken from the dataset. The dataset images consist of the several affected regions and the affected cells. After getting the input image from the dataset, the pre-processing is carried out. In this pre-processing steps, we have to consider three major steps. First one is the image resizing and the second one is the image filtering and the th third major module is the edge detection. After the pre-processing is completed, the region of selection is undergone. In the region of selection, nothing but the cropping the selected region from the image. In this process, we have to consider two two type of cropping. The first one is the automatic cropping and the second one is the manual cropping. In the automatic cropping, the coordinates are given as a predefined function and the manual cropping is nothing but the user can easily crop the region as we like. Then the segmentation is carried out. In this segmentation process, the only the nuclei, affected nuclei is extracted and the other backgrounds will be eliminated. To segment the this type of image, we can use the K selection method for the segmentation. After getting the segmented result, the performance analysis is carried out for the proper segmentation. To analyze the performance, we have to consider the three major performance measures module. The first one is the precision, then second one is the recall and the third one is the F measure. By calculating the, these three values, we have to compare the, with the existing and the proposed method is more efficient. Now we discuss the initial running procedure for the process. At first open the MATLAB. 2013 and change the directory of the code. Now you can see the main.em file. If you want to run the code means right click in that file and click the third option run. Now the initial CHI window was opened. In that you can see the several push buttons and the several checkbox radio buttons and the access. Now select the file from the menu and click the open image. Now the samples are open. Now select any one image from the samples and click the button open. After clicking the button open, the selected input image is shown in the axis 1 with the title input image. Now click the button pre-processing. After clicking the button pre-processing, 
the image resize option will be enabled. Click the image resize option and the resized image is shown in the axis 1 with the title resized image. Then select the second checkbox that is an image filtering. Now the filtering is applied for the input image and the filtered image is shown in the axis 1 with the title filtered image. Then click the edge detection. Now the edge detection is applied for the cell image by using the canny edge detection method. Now the edge detected image is shown in the axis 1 with the title canny edge detection. Now click the button region of interest selection. After clicking the button region of interest selection, the two radio buttons will be enabled. Click the manual cropping button. After clicking the button manual cropping, the cursor is changed as a plus symbol. Select the required region in the image and click inside the image. Then click the button segmentation. After clicking the button segmentation, the binary conversion checkbox will be enabled. Now click the button binary conversion. Now the binary image for the selected region is shown in the axis 2 with the title binary image. Then click the button find nuclei. After clicking the button find nuclei, the nuclei region will be plotted and the centroids of the nuclei are also plotted in the red color. Then click the button plot nuclei. After clicking the button plot nuclei, the clustering is carried out for the image. Now the four type of cluster is applied in the image and the final affected nuclei will be shown in the clusters 4. Now click the button travel templates and I have selected the fourth cluster as an efficient cluster so I will enter the 4 and click the button OK. Now the selected clusters will be on travel templates. Then click the button K selection and give the input as again 4. Now the selected region will be displayed and the number of blobs which is obtained is also displayed in the axis 2 with the title number of blobs. Then click the button estimations. Now the new window was opened in that you can estimate the three parameters. The first one is the precision, the second one is the recall and the third one is F measures. Now click the button precision. The precision is the 83.9 percentage. Then the recall 72.9 percentage. Then the F measure will be 0 0.2. Then click the button comparisons. Then the comparisons between the process is plotted as an ROC curve. 